welcome back to my channel this here is another get ready with me video featuring this look that I have on now and this is the makeup look that I had on in my makeup haul video and all the eyeshadows that I have on my eyelid are from the makeup geek line so if you guys are interested in this look that I have on now make sure you guys continue to watch to see how I achieve this look to start, I always like to meet out my eyelids with the Studio Finish Concealer in NW45, and it's by MAC. And I will be doing the same exact thing to my other eyelid. Now that that's on my eyelid, I like to take my ring finger and blend out the concealer. And here I'm just rubbing in the primer potion and it's by Urban Decay. And here I'm taking a 224 brush by MAC and I am blending in Frappe by Makeup Geek into my crease as a transition color. And here I'm using that same exact brush and I am applying the eyeshadow to my inner eyelid and my outer eyelid and I'm just sweeping or dragging the two places that I applied the eyeshadow together over my eyelid and I'm leaving the center of my eyelid bare. And this eyeshadow that I'm using is called Bitten and it's also by Makeup Geek. And as always, I'm doing the same exact thing to my other eyelid. And here I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. And I'm applying that to the spot where I didn't apply any eyeshadow and I'm taking a 195 brush by MAC to blend out that base for the pigment that I will be using. Since the pigment is a loose pigment, I'm taking a little bit of Fix Plus by MAC and applying that to my brush. And here is the pigment that I'm using in its Insomnia by Makeup Geek and I'm slowly just pan that color onto my eyelid until I achieve the color payoff that I like. Here I'm going back in with that 224 brush with just a little bit of product on the brush and to blend out the insomnia with the bitten so that the colors are blended seamlessly together. And, and when I'm doing this process sometimes I lose the color payoff so I'm just going back over it with a little bit more of that pigment. And here I'm using a C brush by e.l.f. and the eyeshadow that I'm using for my brow highlight is called Cream Brulee. And I'm slowly just patting that onto my eyebrow, the highest points of my eyebrow. And now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and making sure that the eyeshadows that I apply to that area are blended together. And I already applied my foundation. This time I used the um, Studio. What is this called? The Studio. Not the Studio. This is the one by MAC. Full coverage. It is called the Studio Fix Fluid. And they gave me the I not the um, they maxed me with the NC50. And that's I don't think this is my shade. It looks a little bit orange to me. So I'm not worried about it because in the end I will be um, applying my powder and as always I'm using the NW40 Studio Select by MAC to highlight underneath my eye and other places to make my face seem a little bit more brighter. And true to fashion I always add just a little bit more of that concealer because I have the dark um, under eye circles underneath my eye. 
so I just like to make sure that that area is well covered. And here I'm taking a triangle wedge and I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Satin Powder. sit on my face long so I just took a clean angle blush and swapped away all the excess powder and that same eye shadow that I applied to my inner eye and outer eye and above my eye I am applying it to my lower lash line and then you guys forget the color the color is called bitten and it's by makeup geek And I'm applying just a little bit of that insomnia pigment to my lower lash line and it's only to the center. Same thing to the other eye. And here I'm using the MAC Eyeliner in Cold. And here I'm taking the Sasha Powder Blush in Matte Brown. Here I want to show you guys the e.l.f. blush palette blush that I will be using. And I believe it's from the dark brush blush palette. And here I am applying my highlight and I'm using the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer. To contour my nose, I didn't want to use that matte brown because it's a bit dark and cool. So I decided to go in with the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer to contour my nose with. I already applied my lashes and eyeliner and here I'm just taking some mascara and applying it to my lashes. I believe this is the Maybelline Gray Glass Mascara. And now I'm taking my MAC Minimalized Skin Finish in Deep Dark and I'm applying this all over my face. Now for lips, I'm using that same lip combination that I used in my daytime glam video. If you guys like to see that video, it's down below. And this here is MAC World. And I am retracing my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in Cork. Now to set my makeup, I'm using some MAC Fix Plus Spray, and this here is the complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this Get Ready With Me video, and make sure you guys thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I'm not going to show this side anymore because I have so many pimples on this side, so i got to get used to doing it this way.